Hi folks, it's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to, boy, a number of video editing programs, Cyberlink Power Director, DVD Architect, Vegas Movie Studio, uh, and Adobe Premiere Elements. And here in Premiere Elements, we're looking at a file that is generating an issue that is common to almost all video editors. Uh, certain videos just don't seem to feed well into the program. The result is often a video that does not look good and a video that does not sound good. In particular, the audio goes out of sync from the video. The reason for this is something called a variable frame rate and I'll show you how to deal with that. So we've got a video here on our timeline. You see that the program was not able to match its video specs here because we have a yellow orange line above it. Even if I press enter to render the timeline, the program does its best with the video, but here, even uh, nine seconds into the video, the audio is out of sync, and that's a problem. I'll show you how to deal with that and how to make the video into a more standardized video. By the way, what causes this? Standardized video comes from sources like camcorders, uh, even cell phones, iPads, recording devices that create video that is designed to be edited. On the other hand, there are other sources for video, ripping files from YouTube or Daily Motion, or for instance, recording your screen with a game program like Fraps, or using a program like Elgato Screen Recorder. All of these can create videos that have variable frame rates. Uh, variable frame rate allows them to more highly compress the video. So here's what we're going to do about it. Let's just delete that from our timeline here, and let's go over to Handbrake. Handbrake is a wonderful little program. It's absolutely free. It's available from handbrake.fr, which means it's a French program. Beautifully designed. Uh, there's no malware attached to it, no bloatware that I'm aware of at all, and it's very simple to use. To use it, simply select your source video just by clicking on the button up here. Once that's added, We'll choose a location for the video to be saved to. I'm just going to browse to, put it in the same folder, but I'm going to call it standard. And notice it is going to be saved as an MP4 by default. If it's not, go here to the video tab. Make sure that it's set to save as an H.264 file. And then here's the key. See how it says variable frame rate? That is what is on the source file right now. We're going to change it to a constant frame rate. And in fact, we're going to select a frame rate 30 frames per second, and that's really all there is to it. Let's click Start to start the conversion process. Should only take a short time. It's a fairly short video. All done. Let's go back to Premiere Elements. In order to add it to Premiere Elements, I'm just going to go to the Project Assets panel, double click on a blank space, and then browse to the file. Just one of my shortcuts I show you in the book. Select our standard MP4. and drop it on the timeline here and take a look at this. We no longer have that yellow orange line above it. In other words, the program was able to digest the video because it recognized it now as a standard video. And if I go to that same spot in the video and play it, our audio is perfectly in sync with the video. It resolves all our problems and creates a nice, smooth, efficient video to work with. That's a great tool, folks. It's a great way to remedy a problem that's pretty common with pretty much all video editors when you try to edit video that wasn't designed to be edited. The Handbrake program can turn it into a more standardized video and boy, <laughs> relieves a lot of headaches. Now, if you want to know more about great tips and tools like this, be sure to check out all the tutorials and tips we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about any one of these programs, check out our moviepix.com guides for Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, Premiere Elements, DVD Architect, and Cyberlink Power Director. They're all available at amazon.com and of course right here at the MoviePix store. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me. Take care.